just like a person, um, the computer likes to take shortcuts where it can. And when you're using logical operators, sometimes it can stop its work early um, and make a decision. So for example, I've got this asking for an integer. I'm storing it in this variable num. Um, I have a Boolean expression written here that uses a logical and. Um, so I'm seeing if this number is between 0 and 10, um, non-inclusive. And I'm printing it's in range if it is and if it's not. Um, I'll say it's not in range. Um, so the computer takes this and it looks at this part of it. And if this part is true, then it goes on and checks the second condition. But if this part is false, then there's no way that this overall expression comes out as anything but false, right? Because to get a true with an and in the middle, both things have to be true. So in the situation where this is false, the computer actually is never going to evaluate the rest of this thing. Um, we call that short circuit evaluation. It just won't bother because it's not possible for this to be true. Okay. Similar situation with an or. So let me make this uh, the opposite. So it's checking less than zero or greater than 10. With an or, um, if this is false, it still has to go on and check this, right? Because it could be true. It could make the whole thing true. But if this is true, then we don't really care what's over here, right? Because no matter if it's true or false, this whole thing's going to come out as true. So similarly with the and, if this is true, it's going to short circuit. It's not even going to bother to look at this thing, and it's going to continue. That may come into play later when you're using this to control loops and you want to check more than one condition. Um, it seems like it's not actually checking additional things. It may be because it's short circuit evaluating and, and quitting its work early.